yes okay, did you solve the numericals anyone i ask any doubt start the new topic that is electric potential In class 11, we have done gravitational potential. So, depression is similar. In that case, it was mass, and here, charge will come. Rest all the concept, whatever you have discussed there, all the concept will come here also. Same concept. <coughs> So electric potential at any point within electric field is the amount of work done <laughs> by external agent in bringing unique positive charge From infinity to that point. So in gravitational potential it was unit mass and here it is unit positive charge. <laughs> Concept of electric potential we have discussed in class 10 also. That is, we say electric potential is the electrical condition that determines the direction of flow of charge. So, positive charge always flow from higher potential to lower potential, whereas negative charge flow from lower potential to higher potential. And potential of Earth. We are taking reference, and that is the zero potential. <coughs> so, how we calculate or determine the electric potential that we call quantitative definition, or quantitatively, how we find the value of this electric potential? So, as we know, if we are Keeping any charge, suppose plus Q is here, we are keeping any charge here, there will be force of attraction or repulsion. 
if it is minus q force of attraction is there if we keep on increasing the distance the force will keep on decreasing so theoretically we say when the charge the second charge is placed at infinity then only force of attraction or repulsion between these two charges will be zero that's why the concept of infinity is there infinity practically what does it mean where the force of attraction or repulsion is almost zero that is the point which we treat infinity yes ila and sana return or still busy sir we return very best sir so we have joined much earlier sir ah right, right. after that you are busy in whatsapp No. No, sir. I called thrice. Name of Sana, I... name of Pila. I called thrice, but no response. Okay. So it is a work done in bringing unique positive charge from infinity to that particular point. So in infinity concept, why we are using? Because we assume the force of attraction or repulsion or electric field due to any source or any charge is present up to infinity that's why the concept of infinity has come infinity means what it doesn't mean it we have to go to the space infinity means mm. the force of attraction or repulsion become zero mm -hmm. that is the meaning of infinity here practically <coughs> So as it is, done per unit charge. So electric potential at any point P. Suppose we give the symbol V P. Electric potential V. We are right. So this will be equal to work done. From infinity to P by external limit. Per unit charge. If you are bringing Q charge and work done is W, then to bring unit charge, how much work we have to do in order to bring Q charge? If work done is W. Then, in order to bring unit charge, work done will become W over Q. So, work done per unit charge is electric potential. Naturally, what will be the unit? So S I unit of electric potential is so it is joule per coulomb. So this we call volt. So joule per coulomb is volt. Joule means what? Joule per coulomb means the newton meter per coulomb. That's why we write joule per coulomb newton. <coughs> so this is volt meter will become newton meter per newton per coulomb. So this is if you are writing 
volt per meter. That means joule per coulomb per meter. Joule means Newton meter, meter coulomb, meter meter cancel. So it is Newton per coulomb, which is the unit of electric field intensity. That's why volt per meter is used as the unit of electric field intensity. Now, uh, what will be the dimension of this electric potential? So, work ML square T minus 2 by T T. Now we find electric potential at any point due to a point So electric potential at any point due to point charge. So derivation is similar as gravitational potential we have done in class 11. So this derivation is asked in two marks or sometimes three marks per term. This derivation is asked. <clears throat> so for this, we are considering any part charge. Suppose this is the part charge plus Q. Placed in any medium, maybe air, maybe vacuum, or maybe any other medium. So due to this charge. We have to find electric potential at any point P, which is at a distance R from the point charge Q. <clears throat> so we will have to find what is the work done by external agent in bringing unit charge from infinity to this particular point. So infinity is somewhere here. Then from here, if you are bringing unit positive charge up to P, how much work we have to do? External agent means leaving this one. This is the source of electric field. So this plus Q charge is the source which is producing electric field. 
and due to this electric field only we will have to do work or we may gain work if negative charge is brought here then we will gain some work electric field will do some work <coughs> So we we'll write that. Let us consider. Make a point charge. Plus Q B. Place at point O. Okay, so for this point, we are saying O. Due to which, okay, we have this only we can add. Due to which we have to find electric potential at point P at a distance R from. <clears throat> so I have to find the work done. We are here. Force of attraction or repulsion will depend on distance. F is one by four pi epsilon naught q over r square. So force applied by this at any point or electric field intensity at any point will be virtually proportional to square of the distance. So we can't apply work done will not be forced into distance. So naturally, we have to find the work done for a small distance, and then we will integrate it from p to infinity and then minus of that work done will become infinity to p if you are doing from p to infinity then opposite of that we require infinity to p we require by external agent <coughs> okay so to find the work done we will have to consider two points suppose we are considering two points a and b The point A is at a distance of x from O, and this AB is dx. Okay, very small distance. <coughs> so let us consider. Two parts, A and B. Then, if you assume a point charge is placed at point A, <clears throat> then force experienced by unit positive charge. Assume to be placed at a no problem. We are assuming, or it is already actually placed. No problem. <coughs> so this force will be how much? One by four pi epsilon naught. If it is in air, then epsilon naught. If it is 
in some other medium then epsilon over epsilon r will also come q over x square going to one and what is the direction along e b okay or along o a whatever you may write <coughs> Now this is the force due to electric field. So this much force is applied by the electric field. <coughs> so if this object or this charge particle is displaced from A to B, the electric field will have to do what? First, we will calculate what is the work done by electric field, and then opposite of that will be the external agent. So, like when we are carrying the brick from the ground floor to first floor, work done by external agent is positive, whereas work done by gravity is negative. Same work but opposite side. When the brick is coming or dropped from terrace of the building to the ground, work done by gravity is positive. Whereas work done by external agent is negative. If that brick strikes the man standing on the ground, he will gain some energy. So work done by external agent in that case will be negative. So work done by this type of field which we call this type of force we call conservative force. So gravitational field, electric field, magnetic field, they are conservative force. So in this case, what will be when you change the direction of displacement, work done will be opposite. <coughs> okay. So in this case, force experienced by unit positive charge placed at A will be this much. Now we are calculating work done by electric field. In displacing here, x we have not given no? where x is what <laughs> or x is way, whatever you may say. <coughs> So work done by electric field in displacing this unit charge from A to B. What will be the work done? So this dW will be F into dx into cos zero. Because force is in this direction, displacement is also in the same direction. This is work done by electric field. We, have, we are not calculating here, work done by external agent. So first we will find work done by electric field and then opposite of that will be work done by external agent. Our purpose is work done by external agent to bring in unit charge from infinity to that particular point. So here we got work done by electric field in displacing this unit charge from A to B. We require from P to infinity first we calculate, then negative of that will be infinity to P, and again negative of that will become work done by external agent. So twice we will do the negative. That means whatever the result will come from P to infinity, same will be the final result. So work done by electric field 
in displacing you need positive charge a positive is there you need positive charge from p to infinity this word will be how much So this one will be integration of this dw or x equal to r to x equal to infinity. So here value of f we didn't write. So what will be f will become one by four pi epsilon naught q over x square into dm. <coughs> So one by four pi epsilon naught q will be out integration of one by x square dx from r to infinity. So what will become one by four pi epsilon naught q x to the power minus two dx integration from r to infinity. Integration of this x to the power minus two dx. X to the power minus two plus one by minus two plus one minus one by x. So one by four pi epsilon naught q Minus one by infinity, minus of minus. Or you can consider another way. Okay, this minus here, it will become one by infinity minus one by. If you are taking this minus outside, then limit will be. Of one by x only, so one by infinity minus one by so one by infinity zero, and minus of this minus will become plus. So 
so this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q over r this we have got work done by electric field in displacing unit charge from p to infinity we want work done by external agent in displacing unit charge from infinity to p so work done by external agent in displacing unit charge from t to infinity will be minus of work done by field so this one will become minus of 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q over R. This is work done by external agent in displacing unit charge from P to infinity. We require from infinity to P. So again, minus of this. Yes, anyone having any doubt? Yes, sir. What is that? The last one. That one. Again. So when we are supposed taking the brick from the ground level to first floor of the building. Work done by you. Suppose here it is this ground floor and it is taken back up to first floor. What is work done by you? Work done by external agent. External agent has to apply force in this direction. How much force? So work done by external agent will be F external into X into cos zero. External agent is applying force in this direction and displacement is also in the same direction. Whereas if you are interested to find what is the work done by gravity, what will come? Work done by gravity. What is the force? Force is downward, that is mg. Displacement is in this direction. So it is mg into h into cos 1 at t. So it is minus mg. So when work done by external agent, the boy who is carrying the brick is positive, at that same time, or same work done will be negative by the gravity. Similarly here, work is done by this electric field itself, due to force of repulsion, it will keep on moving, if it is free, there is no friction, no opposing force, then it will keep on moving and will go to the infinity till the force becomes zero. So here work done by field is positive. So work done by external agent will become negative minus of that. This reverse is the case. Suppose here brick is at, from this place it is falling to this ground. From the terrace of the building it is coming to the ground. So force of attraction is downward. Displacement is downward. So work done by the gravity is positive. Whereas if this brick strikes you, you will gain some energy. So work done by you is negative. Negative work done means you are gaining some energy. Work is not done by you. Work is done against you. Yes, any other confusion? No, sir. No. Success in a present. Yes, sir. Yes, after long. Uh, where is your friend? One, two days came and after that, not, not visible. Which friend? Huh? 
Which friend? How many friend do you have? I have many friends, sir. Many friend. With whom you are sitting? With whom you are sitting in the class? Oh, acha prachi. Sir, she might be sleeping, sir. <laughs> You might be sleeping, no? Uh, the Sakshi Oja present today after long gap. Yes, sir. Where were you? Sir, I was attending all the classes. Uh, understanding or sleeping? Uh, understanding. Understanding? Yes, sir. Then also test you got zero marks. No, no. Then? By mistake, that page was cut. I could page not was cut. That. Yeah, I could not attempt the test. Okay, then what will happen next test? Wednesday? I'll I'll see. Okay. <clears throat> so here work done by we got work done by external agent in displacing from P to infinity. We require work done by external agent from Infinity to P. <clears throat> so again, minus of this will come. So according to definition, electric potential at P this is work done. By external agent in bringing unique positive charge from infinity to P. We have got here P to infinity. So again, it will be minus of this word. So the electric potential will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q over R. So an electric potential is a scalar quantity, it is work done per unit charge, and work is a scalar quantity. So it will have only two value possible means one will be positive and another will be negative. If Q is positive, potential is positive. If Q is negative, potential will be negative. That is source of the electric field. So the Potential may be positive or may be negative. So this V is the scalar quantity. So if Q is positive, V is positive, potential is positive. And due to negative charge, potential is negative. So addition of potential is very easy. It is not like electric field. Here we are not to consider a direction, only the magnitude. Whether electric potential, it may be due to so many sources, so many charges may be, then it is very easy to calculate. So we have to consider only the sign of the source charge due to which you are interested to find. <clears throat> now, 
Now, if you are asked potential energy, like same as gravitational potential and gravitational potential energy, what was the relation? Gravitational potential energy, how we calculate? So, mass into gravitational potential. Gravitational potential is the work done in bringing unit mass from infinity to that point. And potential energy was work done in bringing any mass or any object from infinity to that point. So, there we are multiplying by mass. Here, work done in bringing any charge. So, we will multiply by charge. So, potential energy. Electrostatic potential energy here, we say. <clears throat> Any charge to place that any part D of electric field in the okay, simply we will learn the formula. So is that what is the word depression if it is asked? Okay, you write depression first. So, is the amount of work done in bringing this huge charge? In bringing this new charge from infinity to that point for external So, electrostatic potential and this will be. Q into electric potential. So, whatever charge into electric potential, that will be the electrostatic potential energy. So, Electrostatic potential energy, this U will be <coughs> charged into potential at that particular point. So, what will be the unit? Here, yeah. Joule per Coulomb, this is Coulomb, so Coulomb, Coulomb cancel, so it will be Joule only. Electric potential will be Joule per Coulomb, but Potential energy will be in joule because it is energy. And SI unit of energy is joule, CGS may be erg or different, different unit are there. So generally we express <coughs> in the unit of energy. Now potential difference. Here, whatever we have derived till now, it is same as gravitation. What we have derived in class 11, all the derivations are same. There also potential difference we have derived. Relation between potential difference and gravitational field intensity. What is the relation? Anyone? Can you recall? What is the relation? Yeah. 
forward. <laughs> So here also we will derive the similar relation. So potential difference. And relation. Potential difference and electric field intensity. So suppose this is the source charge. We are considering two point A and other point B. B. <coughs> So what is potential at A? This VA will be work done by external agent in bringing unit positive charge from infinity to A. What is the difference? So work done per unit charge, what are from where? Infinity to A, by whom? By external agent. If it is electric field, then reverse, opposite. <coughs> now, electric potential at B, Work done. So from here, suppose infinity it is so infinity to A, this is B. And infinity to B, this work done is BB. So it is from infinity to B per unit charge. This is also by external limit. Now, if you want to know the difference, VA minus VB, what we call? So, this VA minus VB, what is that? <coughs> so, from the, this work, infinity to A, we are going to subtract infinity to B. So, what is left? Work done by external agent from B to A. So it is work done from B to A by external agent per unit charge. Funny.
So it will be work done from B to A by external link. Or it can be work done from A to B by electric field. So this is an important formula. When you are asked to find work done in electric field, what we have to do? Charge into potential difference. <clears throat> so from this we are using this formula. So work done from B to A by external agent. Will be Q into VA minus VB. That is final potential minus initial potential. Potential corresponding to final point where it has been displaced, or if it is A to B, then here B B minus B A. If it is by electric field, work done from B to A by electric field. And we be Q B B minus B A. Or it will be minus of this work done. <clears throat> so in the numerical, when you are asked find work done by field, this is from where which point it is displaced to which point. If A is here, B is here, here also it will change. A to B means A to B only. Here will be opposite. In case of external agent. Opposite. If it is A to B, then here will be BB minus BA. That is potential corresponding to final position minus potential corresponding to initial position from where it is displaced and where it is reached. So as electric field is a conservative force, so it will not depend on path followed. It simply depends on initial position and final position. Same as gravitational force. Field. Electric field, gravitational field, magnetic field, these three are conservative force. So it will not depend on how which type of path is whether particle is going this way or this way, whatever it is, or directly it is going, or first this way, after that this way, no problem. What is the initial position? What is the final position? We will calculate the electric potential of this final position. What is the electric potential of this initial position? Then work done will be. What charge is to be displaced into difference of these two potential? Okay, so this is the first part relation between potential difference and work done. Now, second part is how it is related to electric field intensity. So, here we got this. B A minus B B. This is work done. Pancha. By external agent. So work done by external agent in bringing unit positive charge from B to A. So this delta B is work done by external agent in bringing unit positive charge. From okay, B to A or A to B, whatever you say, one point to other, you can say.
So work then is forced into displacement. Now force experienced by unit positive charge, that is electric field intensity. As we are interested to find work done by external agent, that means it will be minus of work done by electric field. <coughs> So if A and B are close to each other, so if A and B are close to each other, then this delta V will be approximately minus E into delta R. Since here, electric field intensity we are assuming it is constant that means this e will be minus of delta v over delta r this is approximately equal so here e is assumed to be uniform If electric field is uniform, then this is valid for any position of A and B. If field is uniform, then for any position we can apply no problem. But if it is non-uniform, then for a small distance only it will come like this. Now, if this delta R tend to zero, that is A and B are very means what you will say, right? Very, very close, you can say. Then what will be? This E will be minus of limit delta R tending to zero. Delta V over delta R. That means what will be? This E will become minus dV over dr. This is the relation. In case of gravitational field also, similar relation we have got. So for any conservative force, any conservative field, this relation is valid. Field intensity will be rate of change of electric potential or magnetic potential or gravitational potential, whatever it is. So, electric field intensity is minus of rate of change of electric potential. If electric field is uniform, Then, for any position of A and B, in that case, what will be? If E is uniform, then what then will be what? Force into displacement, whatever the displacement may be. So, for any position of this one, it is valid. So in that case, this V minus V B will be minus of E into D, where D is distance between A and B.
so this way we can find electric field intensity Uh, electric potential due to many charge. So this calculation will be much easier in comparison to electric field intensity. Suppose you are given Two charges are placed here plus two coulomb, and here is plus six coulomb or minus six coulomb. Suppose. The point electric potential at A. And D for the safety. And work done in moving minus five Coulomb charge from B to A. Okay. What this is the case? So this charge is moved from D to A, from here to here. So this is the charge to be moved, that is the small q, that is this one. And the electric field is produced at point A and D due to B and C. So B and C are the source. So we'll find electric potential at point A due to B and C, electric potential at point D due to B and C, and then we will find work done so here you are written here work done in moving this one so if not mentioned work done by field or work done by external agent that means it is assumed work done by external agent if it is not mentioned in the question work done by whom then you are supposed to take work done by external agent so we will find work done by external agent so first we will find what is the electric potential at a what is the electric potential at a so one by four pi seven naught. <coughs> you do this plus two over distance is zero point five meter. Plus minus six by zero point five. And it is a scalar, so no need to calculate separately. In one step only you can calculate electric potential due to this plus electric potential due to this, electric potential due to this is positive, electric potential due to this is negative. So how many will come? Okay, make it one meter only otherwise. One meter only you take, or two meter you take. Calculation will be easy otherwise. So it is minus three plus one, minus two. So it is minus two K, okay. Now potential at D. Okay. 
one by four pi epsilon naught. How much? Two by one plus minus six by one. Minus four k, k one by four pi epsilon naught. Minus two into nine into ten over nine. This much volt. One point eight into with negative sign. Ten to the power ten. Okay, here will become minus three point six into ten to the power ten. Okay, now you are. Asked work done in moving this minus five coulomb charge from D to A. So work done from D to A by external agent will be equal to Q. Which potential minus which potential? The charge which is to be moved. And potential will be of K minus potential of D. B A minus one point eight. Minus of minus three point six ten to the power ten. You can take common. So what will be? Will be plus again here minus so minus nine into ten to the power ten g. So this much work we will have to do in displacing this five coulomb charge from B to A. This work is tremendous, very large amount of work you have to do. So it is not very easy to displace this charge from one place to other. Okay. <coughs> So work done. This much work done. We have to do if we want to displace this charge. That is, if we want to shift this charge from this place to this place, this much work we have to do. So electric potential due to many points. We will calculate this way only. Whatever the points are, the source are there leaving that. Now suppose you ask. This is plus one coulomb. This is minus one coulomb. This is plus two coulomb. This is minus two coulomb. You may be asked find potential energy of this minus two coulomb. What is the potential energy of minus two coulomb placed at point D? Then what will you do? So in case this one we will forget. Okay. Now these three are the source. So we will find potential at point D due to A, due to B, due to C. That is what is the total potential, net potential at point D due to the remaining three charges. And then we will multiply this charge with potential. Potential energy charge into potential at that particular point. So if you are asked minus two coulomb, so we will not consider this one. This is not the source. Source is these three. So due to these three, we will find electric potential at D. Any one by four pi epsilon naught. This by this distance. 
1 by this distance, suppose A, this distance may be VT square, then A root 2, from here it is A. So, we will find a net electric potential at point D, D and then we will multiply by the charge which is placed at that particular point. Okay, so this will be calculated electric potential and potential energy. So, just you read the book, do the revision, ask next day what is your doubt, and after that we will proceed furthermore in the same chapter. Now, next class will be on Tuesday, no? Okay, shall we leave up to here? Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.